The seven deadly conversation mistakes men make with women. Let's get into it. Deadly conversation mistake number two, being too agreeable. Women don't want you just to be a yes man and agree with everything they say. It comes across as disingenuine and weak. Jordan Peterson talks a lot about, we want to tame and understand the monster within us. We want to invite it to the table and make it our ally. Once we have that monster within us, then we can choose to be agreeable. We can choose how we respond to the women in our lives, whether it's a woman you just met at the, at the coffee shop or if it's your spouse or your girlfriend. Robert Glover, in his book, No More Mr. Nice Guy, talks a lot about this great book. The nice guy has these covert, unspoken contracts in which they hope that being nice is going to get them things, and women find this detestable. It's not attractive to women to just be the nice guy. It seems disingenuine and manipulative. They don't want you to be just too agreeable. They want you to have your own op opinions. First, we want to acknowledge her current emotions. Again, women are emotional creatures. So the first step is to always meet them emotionally where they're at. In other words, understanding where they're coming from emotionally. Now, if we disagree, that's fine, but let's first acknowledge. So for instance, that sounds fun or that doesn't sound fun. And I can understand that. I bet you felt and now try to use an emotional word or get yourself in the space of where she is, where she's coming from emotionally. That's what women want first. They're emotional creatures. We need to connect with them emotionally first. Then if you disagree with what they're saying, go ahead and share that. They don't want just a yes man nodding and smiling and agreeing to everything that they say. That's not attractive. So if you disagree, go ahead and disagree but don't over explain. Keep it short, state your opinion, and let her ask you more if she's interested. If she's not interested in what you have to say, she's not going to ask. And don't be afraid to leave space there, leave basically a pregnant pause in the conversation to allow her to then have a turn, ask you questions, become more involved with you, to become more bought in to what you're saying. If she just moves along, she wasn't interested to hear what you had to say anyway. If she is interested, then go ahead and tell her a 30 second story about why you feel that way, the emotions behind it, why that's your value and why you disagree. That doesn't mean that you're being an asshole about it. It's just, you don't have to agree with everything that she says. As a matter of fact, she doesn't want you to agree with everything that she has to say. If you can't stand up to her, how are you going to stand up to the world? So don't do that. Women don't want you to be agreeable all the time. Join me for the next video of number three of Deadly Conversation Mistakes Men Make With Women. I'm going to tell you about a woman whose heart is sunshine, whose body burn hot. I'm going to tell you about a woman whose cold is tundra with some frozen eyes. I can tell by the way she moves that she cares and it's lovely too.